Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog channel. It's Tito, and today I'm at the park. I'm with the dogs. There they are, Koa and the white one's Coco. Here it is. And I wanted to take just a couple minutes to talk a little bit of, or touch upon some of the things I brought up in the last video. <laughs> Uh, like I mentioned, this channel is going to be temporarily revamped. And when I say revamped, I really just mean the topic is going to center around uh, collecting Beanie Babies and talking a little bit about, you know, why I'm doing it uh, and, you know, wh why now and what comes next. And... Right off the bat, what comes next is all this vlog channel will continue to stay as is. It'll be a vlog channel. It's, for the next two weeks, three weeks, it might be topics will be focused on beanies. <laughs> uh, but going forward long term, it'll really remain uh, just my personal vlog channel, uh, a place where I can broadcast and transmit to everyone out there. Uh, let them know kind of what's going on in my life and uh, a great place to just have dialogue. So why Beanie Babies? One thing about them, you know, certainly having grown up in the 90s, uh, you know, I was around the fad. I was there when, I won't want to say the first gen or second gen were popular because they really weren't popular and one of the things that makes them so uh, sought after is that the first and second generation Beanie Babies uh, really came out during a time when no one, you know, they were $5, they were sold primarily at Hallmark stores, uh, a sort of other high-end boutiques, not at big box stores, and there was a reason for that. They wanted them to be uh, viewed as a, somewhat of a, a, a higher-end, classier version of a sort of a plush toy. Um, but... I certainly collected a lot when I was a child. You know, a lot, I mean like maybe 30 to 40. And that's a lot. Uh, and I spent about five to six dollars for them each. And none of the ones that I bought back in the, you know, 97, 98, 99 are, are worth anything. Uh, they are not. The ones that are worth or collect, you know, get any money or any, have any value would be third generation, second generation, and then first generation first generation being released mostly in 95 through 90 like early 96 maybe but by the by 95 I think most of first generation had been released and then they went on to second generation which maybe would be 96 uh, just first few you know first half of 96 uh, and then third generation which maybe tailed you know some of it reached into 96 and then we're 97 you were already looking at fourth and fifth generation Beanie Babies. So I'm not doing this for the money and I'm not doing this to, you know, get any sort of fame or recognition really. I, I'm only doing it because of my interest in them and in collecting them and being able to see them, see some of the originals. These are ones that, you know, during the, the time when they were quite popular, uh, no real, no one really would have, first of all, paid market price for these because they were really, really overpriced. Uh, they were quite expensive during the actual craze because uh, there was a financial bubble, a bubble for beanies um, that was very real and a lot of uh, prices were quite inflated. And to some extent, they still are inflated. Uh, a lot of collectors, I think, do uh, really look back to that period of time in the, you know, 96, 97, era as uh, you know beanies were valuable and to some extent that market is remained intact 20 you know here we are 20 years later 25 years later uh, and there still is a market and there still is people there are, are people selling and buying on ebay um, but it's just not really not to any extent that it was you know back when the fad was <laughs> in full force so it's is gonna be a chance to spend some time and you know I've got a, a couple more a few more weeks uh, certainly will be off uh, while shelter in place continues here in California and 
I'd uh, like to, you know, dedicate, you know, even if it's three, two, three hours a week to sort of documenting and talking about what's going on uh, with Beanie Babies and the collection that I'll be auctioning soon uh, that I'm assembling right now. Uh, another reason why I'm doing this is because it's, uh, you know, again, <laughs> I have the time on my hands and like I said, I've got other projects I'm working on. So I don't want this to take up too much time, but I think it, it'll be cool to look at some Beanie Babies, ones that uh, you know I've been able to assemble and, and gather relatively inexpensively uh, on the internet, and we're gonna put them into a lot uh, on eBay and do an auction. And so I don't want this video, today's video, to run on too long because I would like to show you a couple of Beanies um that will be included in the lot uh the first which first of which uh arrived today in the mail from new jersey it's a uh, seaweed uh seaweed the otter uh, it's a third generation tag which for seaweed the otter was the first release for that one i don't there's no first or second gen tag uh generation tag for that one so uh the hang tag on that is third and well i think this tush tag is uh, second generation uh, and there may be a uh, seaweed the otter with a third gen tag and a first gen tush tag uh, again this one's a third gen with a uh, hang tag and a second gen tush tag uh, so we'll just take a look at that one um, and again just continuing talking about beanie babies and obviously some some of my other personal life and um, discussion about being in California during the coronavirus, COVID-19, 2020. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Um, but again, this is a, a great time to communicate with all of you. And thanks for checking out the channel. And I'm gonna show on the other side of this, uh, a couple clips of the beanie that just arrived. Um, it was, again, I think it only was like $10, $10 or $15. It's authenticated, uh, which means that uh, it was um, uh, sent to a uh, reputable authentication service source that uh, generates a certificate for it, telling us, uh, the buyer, uh, what, uh, what generation beanie it is and if it meets all manufacturing standards and is authentic. So uh, you'll see a lot of, uh, I believe all the beanies that I'll putting together for this lot will be authenticated. So you'll see some of that. All right, everyone. Uh, this is Tito again from a park. Do another shot of the shot of the park. There are the dogs looking pretty happy. So, all right. See you in the next one. Thanks for checking it out. Bye. This is going to be a quick video of Seaweed, the otter. This one got in today. And he's a third generation, which means it's a swing tag, third gen. It's in pretty good condition. There's a small little teeny crease there. I don't know if you can see that on top, but still in great, great condition. I love the otter too. God, he's so cute. It's pretty cute. As a fan of anything from the ocean, almost <laughs> love otters. I really think they are one of the coolest animals. Oh, he's looking, he's eating some seaweed. Uh, here's the authentication. So his tush tag. If you can find that is a second generation and you'll see the red the red logo there means it's second and there's red text in there too so it's second generation it's a great one there he is seaweed uh this will this will be included in the lot all right everyone just wanted to show this guy and uh thanks for checking the video out